Okay, welcome back. I've had a couple of messages saying what are the outfits, some of them, but I don't know all of them. So I'll be sharing that knowledge with you today. And hopefully that you'll be able to tell me ones I don't know, share a bit of information. This what I'm wearing at the moment, normal assassin unlocked at sequence five, New York. Right. Achilles original outfit. Basically you need to do all of the homestead missions. Doesn't matter if you complete the game or not. You just gotta complete homestead missions. Basically it's sort of like a cross between Connor's usual and then Altair's armour. By the way there is some spoilers here. This is Captain Kid. What you get from Peg Leg. I think that's what you call. Once you collect 24 twinklets and then you get all the map locations you get Oak Island. Then you can um then what you actually unlock is this outfit because this is Captain Kidd's outfit you also get this thing called the Shard of the Apple that's of course the Shard from the Apple of Eden and the mystery the like myth with um Captain Kidd was supposedly he was invincible and that was because that the Shard of Eden makes it less likely for bullets to hit you for it pushes any metal that's near you away so he was sort of shielded by by a mystical thing now Ezio's outfit you get this through Uplay I've seen people saying how do you unlock it you need Uplay the only way to get your hood back up by the way when you've completed the game is you need to actually have an outfit with the hood up and then the biggest spoiler the prisoner once you get chucked in jail, you get it. Alright, there's nine on the wall, nine outfit slots on this wall. I, I think there is ten now, because there's nine on the wall, and then there's this one. I think you have to collect all the wall, and then you get a special outfit here. But I know one of the wall, wall outfits, that which is Altair's outfit which you have to complete the game all the main missions and all of the objective side missions all of the civilian help missions everything basically where you have to complete you've got to complete it for Altair's armor um, oh yeah I've seen people saying well what weapon are you using now because I've sort of switched up my stuff um, I have, oh, can't remember what this is called, let me just go. I used to use that because I thought, let's be a bit of the usual, like, Native American and stuff, but I didn't like it because of the, like, purple or blue, I'm a bit colorblind. Um, where's the semi? There it is. I used to use the French cutlass. That's really good, but I had to sort of change between. I had to get rid of that the speed to get more damage. Because with I'll go upstairs to show you. Alright, can I get out? Yeah. Now, this is just the light cavalry sword. 
It's exactly like the French Cutlass. Bigger. Less speed, one more damage. And that one more damage makes all the difference because if you're, if you're up against one of them beefy big guards with normally walking around in a massive pack, then this can actually like cut through them and they can't stop it as easy because of the one extra damage. Um, I also use this, I really can't remember what it's called, but I know it's, I know it's one of the, like, on the small weapons of any shop, you get the one above the low, the bottom one, that's the one it is, I can't, I'll find out the name, but I can't remember now. Where I find most of my information to tell you guys is from IGM. That's a really good, trustworthy site if you want to check out stuff. I've read King of the Seas. Because I've completed all of that, all of that one. All of the ships challenges. I bought everything, which is why I'm a little low on money. Because I basically went crazy with it and bought every single upgrade I could um you really if you want to do the peg leg challenge where you want to get the kid armor and outfit you you got to speak to this guy here and I you, you have to get 24 pieces of treasure for him which he calls twinklets and I suggest you buy the map of that from the general store because most of it doesn't show up. I'll just show you. Once you buy the wooden hull, you get the iron hull. Then you get you can get the cannon at any point. Get that at any point. That that is really good. Man of Wars against that. Two of them. You've brought it down with a combination of the normal cannons. The rudder is really good, I'd recommend getting that because you can turn quicker. Pierce around, I haven't seen much difference between that, but I bought it anyway. And this you really want because some of the uh, challenges you have to do is just go through the enemy instead of like blowing them up. You have to ram them and just crush them and with that it makes everything possible. All these ship upgrades are pretty expensive when you add it all together. I didn't know I could go on here when I weren't like on a mission. The middle one's the highest. Can you climb this? No. I know on like the normal boats you can climb. Let's try this one. If I can't, then I will. Nah. On the normal boats, you can. Like, all the ships and fleets and everything, you can, like, just, um, run up to the top. But if they, I think some of them, if you get caught, you get, you get, um, you get wanted for it by just being on someone's boat. So be careful with that. Um, if you've got any ideas you want me to do, anything you want me to try, just let me know in comments, subscribe, like, I'll try to bring you the most recent news when I can. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, if you hold circle, you dive. You can't keep it held, because I'll show you what happens when you hold it. Yeah, you you sort of almost die. Um, now that I've completed the game, there isn't really that much left to do, but there's these things called pivot. And if you collect them, apparently, don't hold me to it, but on IGN, it says that if you collect all of them, you sort of, you get cheats for this game. You get to control everything because the pivots. When you get one, it's 
it, you see um, Animus hacking on your screen. Now, what the uh, IGN are saying is, when you've got them all, is you get to ha invincibility. I don't know about ammo. So, no stupid ammo capacity. No reload. So you can just keep firing. You get the control weather, season. You can, like, assassinate someone but they've noticed you. You can just take them out. Enemies can't. And there is this one cheat on there. Anyone does know how to do it. Hey, cause look. Yeah, you. You got. Sometimes you'll notice that I don't know what I'm talking about and I sort of ramble on a bit, or that's because you don't watch and. But I do. Um, really. Impo through the trees once. I don't believe him. To catch someone, so. I don't really. I like the tree edition. Um, Revelation, but it. It's just something they wouldn't do, really. I don't know why I ain't got the sawtooth sword, but. I think that's because I, I don't like the frontier. You, if they spot you, and you'll come after you for no reason. I think maybe them missing missions are important. I'm now looking at them. And some of them in there. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot more if I want that out of for Anything me to show you, no matter what it is, guaranteed to fail. Like, spend wars, because I know how hard it is to make money. Since I do my bear tactic, it seems to go good. 23 bits, 6,000. It's money at the moment, so.